Welcome to Meco Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to create a chart. The first step is to insert the data into your chart. I'm going to choose a stacked bar chart from the Meco Graphics ribbon. And I'm going to paste data from Excel into the chart data sheet. You can see this is financial statement data over time. In step two, I'm going to determine where I want my data displayed in the chart, and I'm going to use bars and series from the Macro Graphics ribbon. The first thing I'm going to do is choose to make net income a net line. Then I'm going to take gross margin and net margin, remove them as bars from the chart, and include them as data rows, which will be shown below the chart. I'm also going to choose include net line values. And if I go to the bars tab, I'm going to choose to make the last column in my chart a CAGR column instead of a bar. And now for step three, we're going to format this chart. Choose chart from the Meco Graphics ribbon. We'll start with the general tab. First we'll hide the segment labels. Then we'll click on the values tab. We'll do a couple of things. First thing I want to do is I want to convert the data in this chart from millions to billions. So I'm choosing a data scale of three to do that. Then I'm going to click on bar totals and while holding down the control key I'm going to choose netline series and y-axis. I'm going to format them all at the same time to be dollar sign billions. Then while I'm here I'm going to take this data row and format that as a percentage. I'm going to move to the chart and I'm going to drag that margin a little bit to the left to make room for a legend. In the Meco Graphics ribbon, I'll click on Legend. And then to format that legend, I'll click on it and I'll choose a position aligned to CAGR. Now my chart's looking pretty good, but the labels are quite small. So I mean, in the white space of the chart, I'm going to right click and choose Select All Labels. Then I'm going to hover over one label, right click on it, and I'm going to choose font size of 10 to change all the labels on the chart at the same time. And there's your chart. Thanks for watching.